This fellow is a macaque monkey. The 23 species of macaques inhabit ranges throughout Asia, North Africa, and in Gibraltar, Europe. Macaques are principally frugivorous, which means preferring fruit, although the diet also includes seeds, leaves, flowers, and tree bark. In Lopori, a town 150 kilometers northeast of Bangkok, there are several thousand long-tailed macaques around the old temple ruins of Praprang Samyot. In Lopori's center, monkeys are almost everywhere. They lurk on rooftops of popular cafes and shops, ready to ambush customers. Some gallop fearlessly into the busy roads, pouncing onto the backs of passing trucks in search of snacks. Government officials have tried to control the population without success. A large number of monkeys were sterilized in 2020 after the population spiraled out of control. Female monkeys have the capacity to reproduce twice a year, and the abundance of high sugar treats given over recent decades has ensured those in Lapari had plenty of energy to do so. Traditionally, the monkeys are considered sacred, and some believe that feeding the monkeys will bring good fortune. Belief and superstition play a significant role in Thai society, with almost everybody in Thailand believing in the power of wishing and believing. Monkeys have long lived in the ancient city of Lopari, on the grounds of the 13th century Praprang Samyot temple, where in normal times they are fed with fresh fruits brought as offerings by temple visitors and tourists, but their population has increased rapidly over recent decades and their presence has expanded across new areas of the city. As Covid brought tourism to an abrupt halt, visitors who once flocked to the city to see and feed its famously mischievous monkeys disappeared, and so did the endless supply of sugary syrup drinks, yogurts and fruit. More than two years on, tourism numbers barely recovered. Instead, the soaring cost of living and fears over monkeypox have further deterred visitors despite there being no cases detected in Thailand. During Covid, when there were no tourists feeding the monkeys, there were two rivaling gangs of monkeys fighting over the food they were given by the locals. Oh, 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 oh,
If bitten, scratched or licked on mucous membranes or an open wound by any animal in a foreign country, immediately wash the wound thoroughly and vigorously with soap and water and with a povidone iron compound, betadine if available. Some monkeys become aggressive because I think you have food, so try holding out your empty palms to show them you don't have any. If the monkey doesn't back off, slowly walk away. Try to stay calm, even if the monkey jumps on you. In June 2022, 2,423 adult monkeys and 114 newborns were counted near to the temple and the old cinema, a fall from 2018, when the total was 3,168. The macaques causes chaos and trouble in traffic, running over and damaging cars and destroy electric wires and telephone cables to houses, as well as robbing stores for food. The shop owners have to scare the macacus away with slingshots.
The macaques are social animals and stay together in groups. In Lopuri, there are, as mentioned, two rivaling groups, one hanging around the temple ruin and the other one in an abandoned cinema nearby. Food vendors in the city can never let down their guard. Thieves are everywhere, and they are both nimble and brazen. They also jump and climb on people, grabbing all loose items like sunglasses and glasses, cameras, purses, and they can bite seriously in search of food. Thai locals know how to deal with the monkeys, and they still give them snacks. Thai festival on the last Sunday of November honors these fussy residents as a reward for attracting tourists. Thailand's Lopori province holds its annual feasts for thousands of macaques with fresh fruit, food fights and a whole lot of monkey business. The Monkey Buffet Festival kicks off with an opening ceremony that includes performances by dancers in monkey costumes. They give the monkeys a buffet of two tons of fruit and vegetables worth over 2,800 US dollars. Officials plan to build a sanctuary in other parts of the city, but some residents don't want monkeys living near them.